Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another art journal layout. Today I'm going to play with a new collection by Stamperia. This is the Forest Collection and just like every paper pad by Stamperia, it has amazing pages and you will see lovely designs. I'm going to go through this paper pad. This is a 12 by 12 but it comes in an 8 by 8 as well. And you will find links down below to both US and UK online shops if you want to grab it. So in this page you get tons of tags that you can cut out and use. Always think of the pages as different areas that you can cut out if you like, depending on what you are using them for. So you get lovely backgrounds as well as focal points, for example the fox here. I absolutely love this page, I always, uh, I'm always attracted to wood, uh, wood grain uh, designs. This is a page where you get six different designs of animals and they match perfectly their back. So you can use them in many different ways. I absolutely love the collage in this one and I will be using this paper today. Here's another one with a wood grain and at the back you get many many tags with animals and flowers. This is super sweet with all the strawberries on top. And another one at the back that looks like an autumn page. I love the birdie and the nest, a green background paper. Now here you get many different little scenes with animals and flowers that you can cut out, use them as focal points on your cards or any other project. And again here back and front match perfectly. Here's another collage looking paper with many uh, animals and at the back you get this autumn looking design. And this is the one that inspired uh, today's project when I saw this eagle and uh, I'm also going to use this part of the page as well. And here's another one where you can cut out, if you like, different uh, animals and use them as focal points on your projects. And now the fun part about the collections by Stamperia is that they come with a bunch of other things that you can mix and match them to create your different projects. So I'm going to bring some of them from this collection. For example, you get different stamps that you can use. There are matching stencils and I will be using the first one here today. In different designs, I'm just browsing them through super quickly just so you can get an idea. There are also wooden shapes that you can uh, pop them out and use them as uh, dimensional elements on your mixed media projects. Mix and match them with papers, they have similar designs and I'm absolutely in love with a bird on top of uh, that branch. And you will find different shapes, fish, squirrels, flowers, acorns, many different designs that match perfectly with the rest of the theme. Now they also come up with molds that you can use if you are into mixed media and dimensional projects. These are really flexible so you can use inside your resin or your clay. And I absolutely love the acorn, the strawberry. There are other molds as well where you can uh, find animals. Anyway, you will find links to the whole collection down below in the description area, again in both US and UK online shops. The inspiration for today's uh, project came from the eagle, so I will be using that as well as this background paper, bits and pieces of it actually. So I'm going to bring in my Dilutions journal and I will start by creating my background. First of all, I will use one of the stencils from this collection and I'm going to apply embossing paste with my spatula on the sides of the pages. Notice that I always pick up my embossing paste or modeling paste, whatever you are using, with the back of the spatula, since this is the side that I will be using to spread it all over the place. I'm mainly staying at the sides and I absolutely love the design of the stencil. Again, picking up even more of my paste and applying it all over the sides. The embossing paste that I'm using here, I believe, is by uh, Altenew. I like it because it is nice and thick and it holds the dimension. Now, as focal points, I'm going to use bits and pieces from this background paper, so I need to create a background that is going to contrast with my focal points and it's going to help it stand out. And I'm kind of uh, trying to create some shadows here, so probably you can see the design that I have on my page, although it is white on white. 
I let my embossing paste dry completely and now it's time to do some spraying. I'm doing the spraying inside the box so that I know I will not make a mess all over my place. I'm also going to protect the pages underneath and now I'm going to do some spraying. First I like to apply some water, not too much, just to make sure that everything is nice and damp. This is going to help my sprays blend even better. I'm using my Distress Oxide inks and these are Wild Honey and Vintage Photo. With Distress Oxide inks always make sure that you shake them well before you use them and always remember that although they look really bright at the moment, they are going to dry in a very pale look with a chalky finish. Now I'm also using a brush just in different areas here and there while the spray is still wet and with the magic of video editing here is my page completely dry and you can see how pale it looks now the colors are not as bright and I love how the colors brought out the design of the stencil on both sides of my pages I fell in love with this background and I'm not going to do anything on it at all. Usually I do some stamping and other bits and pieces. However, I'm just going to go ahead and start working on the focal points. I have here a frame stamp. This is by Darkroom Door and it is called Film. I absolutely love this design. I'm going to stamp that with black archival ink. This way I know that it's going to be permanent and it's not going to smudge or smear no matter what I decide to do later on on top of it. I'm going to stamp that a couple of times with my uh, stamping platform here just to get a good impression and then I'm going to use my scissors and just cut it out. I will create three of those film strips just because I like the number three on my pages. So here they are all ready to go and I also cut out the inside just created a template for myself so that I can uh, uh, walk it around this background paper and decide which areas I want to use. I am going to use one from the sky, another one where you can see the mountains and then another area where you can see the grass, the trees, as well as part of the lake. So I used my template to draw some lines all around that and I'm going to use my scissors and cut them out. Now the difficult part about creating this uh, art journal is uh, trying to decide which paper I'm going to cut out. These papers have beautiful designs that make it so hard to cut them out. Anyway, the truth is that we get these papers to actually use them. So just go ahead and be brave. And now I'm going to do some more fuzzy cutting. I'm going to bring in this pattern paper with all the animals on top and I'm going to cut out with my scissors the eagle. This is going to be the focal point of my card. So I'm going to use my smaller scissors and just go all around it. I'm cutting out exactly where the design is without leaving any border. And I actually like the size of this eagle. It is quite big, so it's going to stand out nicely as a focal point on top of my layout. Now it's time to put some of the elements that I have cut out together, so I'm going to stick down all those images on top of the film strips that I have stamped. For that I'm using my white liquid glue, this is Nouveau Deluxe, but of course you can use any other type of glue that you like. Now I'm also going to use this pattern paper and I'm going to use the scissors to cut out bits and pieces from this collage design just because I want to use bits and pieces from here and tuck them behind my film strips to make them look fuller and to create different clusters here and there on my page. And in this paper you can find uh, leaves which I'm going to cut out, you can find uh, little areas with uh, script, there are also uh, words that you can cut out, strips of words like uh, forest trees and nature, which I'm also going to cut out, bits and pieces that I can use later on. Now on those film strips, that white space here really bothers me. I either have to go ahead and cut it out, which is going to take me forever, or just color it in the same color as my background. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So this way I'm going to disguise it somehow. And when I place it on top of my page, it's going to look as if there are holes there. So you can see the background. 
And remember, it looks super vibrant and yellow in the beginning, but once it dries, it's going to look exactly the same as the background. On all my cutout pieces, I'm going to go over the edges with Distress Oxide Ink, and that's Vintage Photo. And I'm also going to use a tool just to distress the edges even more. I'm also going to stick down the eagle in one of those film strips and I want him to look as if he's flying outside of the picture so I'm going to cut out one side of the wings so they look as if they are back inside the picture. I'm going to use some glue at the back and stick it down. And once I have my eagle down then I have all the bits and pieces that I need to create my layout. I'm gonna play some music for you and let you see how I put everything together and I'll catch you back later on. And now finally it's time to do the details with my black and white pens. Here I'm using a very thin uh, black marker. This is a Micron 005. I want to have some lines around my eagle. This is going to help him stand against the background. But I don't want those lines to be super uh, thick. I have a collection of uh, black pens all the way from 005 to 1.5 or even thicker nibs and I use them and switch between them depending on the look that I'm going for. So here on my eagle I want to have the black lines but I don't want them to be super vibrant or stand out a lot. That's why I'm using the 005 which is very thin. With the same pen I'm going to draw around the leaves just to help them stand out even more. But notice that uh, the thin line kind of blends in with the rest of the designs in those printed pattern papers. And of course, just like with every other project that I make, I have to add white splashes. Here I'm using just a white spray that I have by Altenew. 
And of course, they're not going to stand out as wide as they look at the moment because they are going to react with the oxides underneath. So they will end up having a very pale look. Now, for my quote, I went ahead and used my label maker to print it out. But of course, you can use your uh, printer. I just found it on my table since I was organizing my stuff. And I thought that would be really neat and uh, super quick. So I printed out a quote that I found on, uh, online that says, Free spirit, either admire me from the ground or fly with me, but don't ever try to cage me. And I thought that was really appropriate for my page. These strips are self-adhesive, so I'm sticking everything down to help these quotes stand out even more. Just like always, I will go around them with a black pen. This is a 1.5 black pen. And you can see how darker the lines come out. This is my football pen and you will find it linked down below. And for the part of the quote that says free spirit, I'm just going to stamp that so it stands out even more. For that I'm using my alphabet stamp set and I'm stamping everything with black archival ink, letter by letter, I don't mind, I find it really therapeutic to tell you the truth. And once my quote is down, it's time to add my highlights with my white gel pen. I'm always using a white Signo gel pen. I'm just adding highlights here and there on my eagle, on the leaves, and on the bits and pieces that I have everywhere, the different cutouts. I'm also going to add some white highlights on the letters. This is going to help them stand out even more. I'm also going to stamp the date and because I'm never happy with the little details that I can add, I'm going back with my white gel pen, adding even more highlights and on those film strips where you were supposed to have all those little holes on the sides, I'm also going there with my white gel pen and adding just a highlight on one side. I think that this is going to help them look as there are actually holes there. And this is going to be the finishing touch, I'm going to call this page done. I will try and link everything I used down below in the description area to both US and UK online shops since I get many requests from Europe. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me, I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment and until next time, stay safe!